In this video, we're going to run through iTheme Security 404 detection. So we're already in the WordPress dashboard looking at the iTheme Security settings. So what we can do is simply use this drop down and click on 404 detection, which will take us right down to the 404 detection area. In short, what the 404 detection is, is detection for a user who's hitting a lot of 404 pages in a short period of time, because that would suggest that they're probably actually scanning for vulnerabilities in your website. So what we want to do is just turn on 404 detection and then that will give us a number of options that we can go through. So how long do you want to remember the 404 errors for? At the moment, five minutes is what we've got configured and that's the default. So any 404s that hit within a five minute period will be remembered and counted towards that user getting locked out. Then we've got the error threshold. So how many errors do they have to hit within the five minute time period to be locked out? 20. 20 is the default anyhow. You can, of course, lower this if you'd like. You may, of course, we've just set that to 10. So that's a more aggressive number and will hopefully lead to higher security for your website. It will mean that whoever's trying to find a vulnerability will have less attempts to be able to find one. And then we've just got the 404 file and folder whitelist. And what's on this list at the moment is a pretty common list of files that are going to be hit regularly. So maybe not all websites have them and that's totally okay. So you can just leave these on, but of course you can choose to remove these files if you'd like. So maybe you'd like to delete the browser config.xml file, you can do that. But alternatively, you may wish to add files to this as well for any reason that you feel necessary. And once you've done making any changes to the 404 detection, you can simply click save changes. And when the settings updated message has got shown up the top, you know that it's all been done and your site's now a little bit more secure. So hopefully that is a general introduction to 404 detection and iTeam security for you. It's pretty straightforward. There's nothing too supremely technical about it. But of course, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask in the comments below.